first place that you want to start when you're writing a riff like this is with the chord progression. The next thing that you want to try and do is find creative ways to be able to flow between each of those chords. <laughs> Try to keep some sort of melody at the very forefront of the riff. And using a melody that floats throughout your riff is a good way of keeping somebody's attention. So one way that you can approach using a melody in your riff is by using a lot of octave chords. The third thing that we're gonna talk about today is you wanna try and keep the listener guessing somehow. You've gotta give them something in your riff that'll throw them off a little bit or that they're not expecting. That's why I put in that stop section. It's something that didn't happen on the first repeat of the riff. And one little extra thing that I want to talk about is where you place your triplets. What Tim and Scott will do in their riffs is they'll place triplets in very specific places that catch you off guard. Mm. 